Hi, I'm Nesvas and I do stuff. Have you ever been frustrated by making moving platforms and run into problems like this? Even though you have seemingly tried everything, your character visually doesn't sync with platforms or even ground check craycasts are failing. Good news! I just found out Godot 4 have built-in moving platforms called Animatable Body 2D and 3D. It is solving all kinds of problems and eliminating many workarounds. In a nutshell, all you need to do is directly change platform's position or global position, preferably in physics process to have smooth movement. I'll show you different ways how to do that, but you can decide what works better for you. For this tutorial I prepared a simple scene for platforms. It consists with animatable body 2D as root. It needs collision shape 2D as all physics bodies. And I gave it rectangle shape. For visuals I just put a sprite 2D with a region of tileset texture. I've set up movement in level scene since that's the easiest way to see it in a context. First way is an oscillating movement with code. Let's place a moving platform in the place and attach a script. I want to have a couple variables exposed for scene in the editor, such as distance, phase time and phase offset. Then couple to store values, pivot and time. In the ready function happens saving the current position as pivot point. Main stuff happens when calculating the position around pivot point. It is using cosinus and sinus functions to get positions in the oscillation. That is added to pivot position and scaled with the distance. There are plenty game dev oriented YouTube videos about this topic. But if you genuinely want video from me, leave, leave that in comments. In physics process that calculated position is requested using time. Time variable is incremented just enough so in phase time it reaches value of 1 and then it is wrapped around with fmod function. New position is then applied to global position and that is telling physics that moving platform has been moved. In my opinion this is the easiest way to make a platform move back and forward. But it is hard to configure for your specific needs. So why not to make my life a bit harder and uh, show you how to make some visualization and uh, teach you something on top of this video. To make it toggleable I am exporting debug variable and in the ready function set process to debug value. That will control if uh, process function is enabled, which will call Godot to redraw the line with Quayu redraw. Godot will do things behind curtains and when it is ready to draw it will trigger draw function. It always trigger on startup, so in case it is not the bug I am canceling the further execution. To draw you can decide the resolution, but I will leave mine at 20. With that I am calculating time increments. Using for loop I can easily draw lines and calculate line start and end positions. Godot drawing is relative to each object that is drawing. So I localize the position by subtracting global position. Then draw a line. I swear that was the hardest part. You can directly move platforms with animation player. It works when process mode is in idle but it is recommended to use physics. You can move platform using path and path follow nodes. But that won't trigger position update for physics. That is why I put super simple script that is setting the same position as its parent. And I have an alternative version that does the same but traverse path through code and gives a curve for easing. As usual some variables exported for use in scene References to path 2D and path follow 2D. Speed it moves through path, but easing curve is modifying it a bit. I expose time in case I want to start in the middle of the path and a curve for easing. 
Local variables to keep some values, speed, scale and direction. I have to mention that this is just an example and you may need to do some changes to have looping path. In the ready function I calculate speed scale to de depending on how long the path is. Then in physics process I just move time value in one direction, positive or negative. And if it passes threshold, I flip the direction. Using car easing, I set value to the path followed, then update global position. Maybe I forgot some other me methods how to move platforms? In such case, please comment in the comment section. Moving forward, I am going to flesh out this template tutorial project as I'm making more tutorials or even make different uh, game style projects too. If it makes sense to make tutorials for them. I just set up Patreon account to create support for these tutorial videos. Even first tier has access to these tutorial projects and evolving templates uh, should give you a reason to stay as my Patreon. I'm still figuring it out, so you can expect some changes there too. And uh, the link for Patreon is in the description. I'm struggling to be socially open, but I love good knowledge exchange about music, uh, sounds or game development. So if you are interested, please come and join my Discord server. Currently it is pretty silent. And again, the link is in description. Now you know that Godot has built-in moving platforms and how to move them. But in case I forgot something, please let me know. I really want to know that. Feel free to expand on these examples and if you want this project, you know where to get it. I hope you enjoyed this video because there are going to be more of them. But meantime, you can check out those videos that are already on this channel. See ya! There are plenty you... <laughs>